welcome back to Let's Play Xeno Gears. Well, here I just wanted to demonstrate to you since last time found these E tones again, and yes, you can indeed get the seal armor from them. I already got one of them off screen, but well, I just wanted to show you on screen they do indeed drop them. Not so much to you know legitimize showing, hey, I did indeed get them without hacking or anything like that. Just because I hate it whenever like someone like I'm watching a video or something and they say, hey, I'm gonna find this enemy and I'm gonna steal or get an item drop from them or whatever, and it's not shown on screen and then you know, I I wonder in the back of my head if there's something more to it that's going on or that I don't know about, or whatever, but yeah, so I just wanted to show you that we got that all set and ready to go, let's see, so yeah, oh, I got a whole bunch of ether armors, but yeah, seal armors, those would be pretty good, you can recognize seal elemental attacks by, well, whenever they use them, you'll see like some engraved symbol or whatever, like a seal or something that will will look like a seal that will be reduced in damage by that. So let's put it that way. No, I don't want those. I want the e there. Okay, let's see. How are you doing? Yeah. I also got another resp circuit off screen there. So that'll help out Brigandier a little bit there. And let's see. What was I using before? I'm just trying to get my last setup here. Ah, okay. I, uh... Well, I'll just equip an old circuit or whatever. As long as you got, like, 35 response or more, that should be more than good enough for random battles. Except for Beards, who I want to actually uh, use the ethers and not worry about physical accuracy there. But yeah, one reason to go to the bridge here is also to get my gears uh, healed up there after that. So, yeah, let's get it on. Now we gotta go to the orphanage. You know what? I want to check something out. Someone was saying there was something about the Tower of Babel that I didn't know before. So let's see what happens if I go there. Can we even get inside? Oh, we can't. Huh. So there's like a little symbol there. I think that's the ethos symbol or whatever it is. Holy cow, that's a big tower. How is that thing still standing? It looks like it's all rusted out and everything. Hmm. Huh. Okay, never mind. I guess that's like keeping all the welts from getting out or something. Well, evidently not all of them, but yeah, so we can't do anything there. So, let's head on over to the orphanage, just the southeast marker on the map in the Akwubi region. And they do have some barren terrain there. I know I can meet up with the, what were they? The mammoths there. I... I personally was not able to find an E-Tone there, which is why I decided to do my grinding, or, well, farming, where I did. But maybe you can meet up with them there, I don't know. I don't have access to precise, what were they, uh, encounter tables, or enemy domains, or whatever. But, okay, so now, I want to change my setup a little bit. I'm going to get Bart out of here for now. Oh, no, not... Well, I don't really care about your stuff either, but... Anyway, uh, I wanted to go to my gear setup, though, and remove anything from Brigandier. I'm surprised I made it here without a battle, but okay, I'll take what I can get. So, yeah, I want to actually remove Bart from the party, and I want to bring in Rico, not to actually use him during combat or anything like that, but there's, like, a little 
not really a side quest, I guess it's optional, but there's an item you can get if you bring Rico into your party now. It's nothing critical, but yeah, it is there. I'm not even going to bother equipping him or anything, or his gear. And I would also like to rest up here before moving onward. I'm, I'm just going to leave my equipment and gear set up as it is right now. But I will eventually want to change that around a little bit. And they got all the hanging laundry here and everything just like it was before in the old ship. Totally not the same ship, with the recycled model and everything like that, but okay. So yeah, I guess we just want to go to the orphanage to thank Billy, and well, then what do we do? I don't know. But in order to get out of here, we actually do need to talk to Sigurd for some reason, even though we are on land, we cannot simply climb the ladder to get out of here. So we actually have to go to the helm and then cancel out from there. But yeah, let's get the move on there. Does Rico? Yeah, he comes with his gear already deployed, but yeah, we'll just go straight to the orphanage. There's a couple other enemies you can meet up with on the ocean, like Death Scythe and what was the other one? I think it was like, yeah, Breaker, but yeah, they're nothing extraordinary. Oh, um, yeah, sure, why not? Wait, what are you saying? Hmm, I wonder what that's all about. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that has to do with anything, but... Okay. What kind of naughty stories? Don't answer that, viewers. Oh! Hmm. Oh, yeah, that evil place that everyone's been telling us about. Oh! Yeah, sure, why not? Let's see what we got going on here. Let's see, if we go over here, we got a... I guess this is a demi-human. Oh, um, yeah, flew the coop. Sure, why not? Hmm, reminds me of uh, Ocarina of Time. But yeah, so for this little side quest, we gotta examine the chicken, but after a while, It'll stop following you, so just walk very slowly, and then whenever it stops following you, just whack it upside the head, and that'll wake it up and get it to follow you. No, no, that's another game, viewers. Not chickens. And unfortunately, we can't just pick up the chickens over our head. So, yeah, just put it in as far as you can. Fortunately, we can jump over the fence, but the chickens cannot. Hmm, I wonder what's with these metal plates that are just in the middle of the ground randomly like that. Hey, get back here! You're not even following me at all! Yeah, don't worry about those metal plates there, viewers. There's nothing suspicious or anything like that going on here. Oh, and they got the ethos symbol here, too, huh? Okay, let me open things up. Please do not leave the coop, even though I've already already gotten you inside. Okay, just follow me a little further in. Close the door. Thank you. Okay, there's one more, and if I recall, this one is a little trickier to find. Don't leave the orphanage, or the chickens will go back to where they were before. So, let's see, where is that other one? Ah, there you are. Okay, this isn't chicken. For some reason, I thought this chicken was going to be, like, outside the fence or something like that. But I was probably just thinking of that kid who was like, running around on the outside of the fence there for some reason. Let's 
And, well, we do get a reward for bringing all these chickens back. Not that it's anything extraordinary, but it's there. Okay, get you inside. Ha-ha! And we get the third and final badge of the game. The tag badge. And with all, if you got the RPS badge and the HNS badge, well, you'll have all three of them and you'll be able to get some items later in the game. Not that they're that great, but it's there. I don't know. Why would air be salty? I mean, I know they're next to the ocean. And, you know, the ocean is salt water and all that. But I don't know why that would affect the air. But then again, I've never actually been to an ocean. So I suppose I wouldn't know. I mean, I guess, I don't know, maybe some water from the ocean evaporates into the air. And then when it comes back down, some of the salt is, I don't know, in the air or something like that. I don't know. Oh, thanks, I guess. Okay, can I get on there or no? <laughs> I, I didn't expect that to actually work for some reason. <laughs> well then. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, okay. We're, we're done here. Can I... Move? Thanks. Hey, how's it going? Are you another demi-human? Wow, they got a lot of you guys around here, huh? Oh, I, I don't know where they're hiding. Unless this kid is hiding. Huh. Nah, that couldn't possibly be true. Can I even get over here? Not from here, evidently. Hmm, I wonder what this... What's with this room? It kind of looks like an... An attached room or something. Or something that was added on after the whole building was made. Oh, hey, there is a door back here. What do we got in here? Hmm. Let me see. Can I move this? Hmm. I'll remember that for later, viewers, but yeah, we can't do anything with that right now. But soon enough, viewers, soon enough. Okay, I think I've talked to all the kids around here. Or, except there's like one running around outside somewhere. Can I? No, I can't get over to them. Okay, never mind. I thought I could like walk around the perimeter or something. Where'd my gears go? We could just call them back if we really wanted to, but there's no need for that. Can I jump over the fence? No? Okay, I guess I can't talk to the kid, or if I can, I'm, I would have to wait around forever for him to get around the perimeter. Okay, let's see. I do not want to talk to Billy yet to advance the plot, so let's go up here. Oh, what do we got here? Can I do anything with that? What happens if I pull it? Hmm. So it just rings a bell? That's it? Oh, okay. I thought there would have been something more to it. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. It's a secret to everybody. Oh, I wonder what that's about. Hmm. Well, we get... Which book is that? Where'd it go? Ah, there we go. Yeah, book number one. Hmm. Damn, my inventory's getting a little crowded there. I don't know if there's a maximum inventory, but I've never hit it myself, even when I held on to, like, everything that I got the first time I played the game. Hey, how's it going? Oh, no, I don't want to go into my menu. I just want to talk to the kid. Can I, can I talk to you? There you go. Sure, why not? 
Puff Puff Massage? Oh, you can rest up here. Huh, I didn't know that. Or at least I forgot about it. Don't listen to what? I don't know what those two kids are on about. Never mind, then. Well, let's see what we got around here. Hey, how's it going? Ah, it's that little girl we rescued earlier. Well, kind of rescued, I guess. Can I get on the bed? What's that sound? Have I heard that before? Oh, really? Hmm, wonder what happened to him. So, if you have Rico in your party, you get a little extra dialogue here. So, if you recall, there was that bell amulet or whatever we got when we were trying to track down... Uh, what was that, guys? Uh, Red Rum there in the sewers back at Kids Love. Oh. Yeah, it was practically on the other side of the world. Well, not anymore. Well, I guess he never made it to the ethos. Nuts. Oh, well, I'm glad you're taking it so well. But yeah, if you bring Rico along and you have the bell amulet, yeah, you get a little book there. Or, a well, a second book. I think that's actually book number three, though. Where does this go? Oh, yeah, that little area that we were we saw before, but I couldn't get into there. What else do we got going on? Let me see. The book. Where'd the, oh, okay, yeah, that is book number three. Okay, there is one more book, though, that we can get. And it might take me a little while to get it. I'll see what I can do. We don't need, need to get it right now. I don't think we need to get it right now. But I'm going to try. Let's see. If you try to get into the... I guess that's the bathroom. Yeah, it's occupied at the moment. Hmm. Let's see if there's a way I can get up to the top of the bed there. Ah, there we go. Well, that was easy. For some reason, I was expecting me... Or, I was expecting that to be much more difficult. What kind of book? Which book is that? Curious George? No. No. Whoa! Holy cow! Nuts. Well, the tower is still there. to her after that. Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. Probably just made up. Okay, so anyway, in order to get into the bathroom, you gotta go in, at least I think, you gotta go in and out of this room over and over and over again until they're done there. Oh, wow. I'm surprised I got it so quickly. Dude! No! What is wrong with you? But at least we got the second book? So... Yeah. Well, they got a wooden toilet here too, huh? Yeah, I wouldn't go for that. If there's something more to that toilet, let me know, viewers. I probably don't want to know, but if there is, let me know. But all right, so yeah, we got the three plates here. Oh, okay, I guess we can't do anything with it right now. Okay, never mind. Well, remember that for later, viewers. We can do more things with that later on. But okay, so that's everything we can do here. Enough 
screwing around. Let's actually advance the plot a little bit today. Hey, that's go. Oh, he's still alive, evidently. Hey, hey all right. Oh. Well, you could say thanks. That would be a good start. Huh? Yeah, good for us, I guess. Well, it's an orphanage. Well, I thought your dad was still alive. Oh, well, what did you go through? Well, I mean, you said you had no parents or something, but I guess he wasn't around or something. Oh, what's going on? How big could it possibly be? I have no idea what unit of measurement that is, but okay. Okay, yeah, sure, why not? Hey, where did you come from? What do you mean? Well, he is older than I think everyone in our party. Oh, um, well, we just came here to thank Billy and stuff, I guess. Hmm? Oh, we're pirates. It's just, you know, part of the work uniform and all that. Sort of. That doesn't exactly sound like the best plan. I would think that would make your headache worse, but then again, I suppose I wouldn't know. Yeah, I suppose we will. I wonder what would have happened if I didn't have Satan in the party at the time. Maybe he would have... What was it? Well, I assume that Sigurd would have come in anyway. But, yeah. There's probably a whole bunch of situations where if I actually brought in another party member that for a specific situation they would have some optional dialogue. But I'm not going to show every single instance of that. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Oh, yeah, I suppose I should have warned you. Yeah, once you talk to Billy and stuff, you're not going to be able to leave or go to the world map or anything like that until after going through the next dungeon. Well, I did warn you in the previous episode, but not here. Well, not really much of a bar, but, yeah. It's a good ship. It's called the Lollipop. Not much of an armament, but we take what we can get. No one's gonna get that reference. 
He's still upset. Nice. I think misanthropy is like hatred of well, just people in general. He doesn't seem to really hate people that much, though. Just Faye in particular, for some reason. Hey, how's it going? Oh, I, I suppose not. How do you guys even know him? Well, I guess, like, Satan was saying he was their senior or something. Oh, yeah, we got stools and everything around here. Thanks, I guess. So, what do we do now? Oh, um, yeah, I suppose. Let's see, do, do you sell anything new yet? I thought he... No, he doesn't! I thought he was supposed to sell new stuff by now. Not that I am interested in it. But if it were available, I would... You know... I would like to know when. But I guess it's not until later or something. Oh, right, right. So... Uh, Sigurd, can you... get moving then? Or... no? What do I do to advance the plot here? What's going on? I guess we just get out of here or something. Okay, well, the... Oh, yeah, I, I don't care about your tr <laughs> He's still talking, even though we got in the elevator. <laughs> Let's see... Can I just get out of here through... the ladder, then? I would guess so. Okay. Well, that was kind of pointless. Where did Billy go? It's gotta be around here somewhere. See, I thought he was in the back here somewhere. Ah, there you go. So what do you use that room for, then? Don't answer that, viewers. Oh, no, of course not. Hell, you're just talking crazy. Oh, we got someone else around here. I think you actually do need to have gone onto the Yggdrasil in order to advance the plot. Oh, he seems friendly. And another guy who... Well, I don't know if I'd say he never opens his eyes, but he doesn't look like it, does he? What message? Oh, good. Oh, not. Not good? Not. What usual? Burn everyone alive? Burn the witches? Oh. And the summoner. Well, we got a big ship, kind of. Oh. Um, well, maybe we should check it out. Yeah. 
sure, why not? Yeah, what's the worst thing that could possibly happen? What, is it gonna levitate the whole ship in the air? And throw it on top of you? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, okay, never mind. It's dangerous to go alone. But thou must! Say but again! I thought we were the ones who were going to take care of him, but okay. Oh, um, okay, yeah, sure. Wh who's going to keep an eye on the kids? I don't think anyone is. But all right, I guess we need to go back. Oh. Yeah, we might want to find him. But, okay, that's good enough. So, I suppose now we have to talk to Sigurd in order to advance the plot. And don't worry about who you have in your active party. We'll have a chance to change things around. Soon enough, viewers, soon enough. But what's going on with that transport ship anyway? Find out next time on Let's Play Zeno Gears! This is the Chibi signing off. Have a good day!